Hi. A lot of you have liked my Urgent Action page, and I appreciate that. This is not about me. It's about things falling off my desk. Now, um, this is about people getting Urgent Action notifications so that they can click a link and, um, in a matter of seconds, join millions of others in saving somebody's life or making sure that that person gets proper medical treatment while imprisoned in some dark corner of the world. Amnesty International is the source of most of my posts at the Urgent Action page. And all you have to do is like it to, to get an update. And I get updates because I've subscribed to Amnesty's Facebook updates. Now, you could just do that, and that's fine. Um, Amnesty International, if you don't know, and you may think it's silly, some of you, that I think that, but most of the people I ask don't know who Amnesty International is. Uh, they're the world's leading and most respected human rights organization. Um, I heard somebody recently say that now they're mostly just a marketing team. Well, you have to have a really good marketing team to highlight the work of your lawyers, your frontline activists, your researchers and the amazing work that Amnesty does. Uh, in case you don't realize what they really do, among other things, they enlist people like you. Uh, you no longer have to write letters like I did uh, when I was 18, 19, and 20. Now because of the internet, you can click your mouse or press a button on your phone, and an automatic letter goes in support of stopping the flogging of somebody or stopping the beheading of somebody or stopping uh, a woman from being prosecuted because uh, she had a stillbirth or an abortion in El Salvador. Uh, you might help stop torture. Um, now, if there are any of you out there right now saying, oh, that doesn't work, you're absolutely unequivocally, inarguably dead wrong, because it does. When millions of letters come in to an embassy or to a military junta or to a government that is suppressing people, or keeping people in jail for a long time. They think about it. Whether or not they do what we want is another story, but that also happens. So uh, I was just looking down the list of people on my page. I have my laptop over here. And I saw that 80 some odd people have liked the page. Again, it's not about me going, ooh, I got more likes. It's about my knowing that when I post something there, the people who liked it get an urgent action appeal. So, for example, the recent one that I sent was about a South Korean who's a conscientious objector, and he has a life sentence in jail. Um, Amnesty International fights for 20th century post-Nuremberg egalitarian human rights values. So, if you're a Christian, a Muslim, or Jew who thinks that, you know, people should be uh, discriminated against because they are an other natural sexual persuasion or because they're an apostate uh, or because they've committed a thought crime, then Amnesty International is not for you. But Amnesty International is post-Enlightenment, post-Bronze Age. It's all the things that you're enjoying in a Western country, whether you're a Buddhist, a Muslim, a Jew, a Christian, a Baha'i, um, or an atheist, or a combination thereof, a scientist. Um, I mean, let's face it, no matter what your background or your beliefs, you wouldn't want to be thrown in jail for um, spurious, erroneous, or... Um, egregious claims. Uh, if you were thrown in jail, you'd want medical attention. You'd want legal attention. I started with Amnesty International when I was in my 20s. And I would sit down like I'm sitting down now, and I would write a letter. My principal interest was the death penalty. So I got letters every month about people on death row. And I always found out that 99% of them had been born with mental retardation or some other disorder, which uh, made their lives... Um, less productive, um, more painful, uh, people addicted to drugs, people raised in poverty, people physically and mentally abused, and so on. And then, of course, in the dossier that you get from somebody on death row, you find out about um, the ethnophobic uh, discrimination in our legal system, the 40% constitutional error in capital cases, uh, government-appointed lawyers falling asleep and being paid $6 an hour, um, basically ensuring that, um, you know, prejudiced, bigoted, 
ethnocentric and ethnophobic Southerners could make sure that black people got executed. Uh, when you join Amnesty as a bona fide member, which you don't have to do if you just like my page, you can just get the updates, take 10 to 20 seconds to go to the site. I don't even read most of uh, these emergency calls for action anymore because I completely trust Amnesty, right? Um, what can go wrong when you're asking for a person to be treated with compassion? Um, even a bad guy won't get beat up and tortured. Again, if that's the kind of thing that you want, amnesty is not for you. But remember, one day they may come for you, and you'll want amnesty to adopt you. Now, amnesty only adopts people who don't advocate violence, so even the hero Nelson Mandela wasn't adopted by amnesty because he used to be, quote-unquote, a terrorist, right? He blew up radio stations. Um, so you don't have to worry that they're helping terrorists. Amnesty investigates the people that they're helping. Um, they came to the forefront of helping the Greenpeace activists who were arrested at gunpoint on a ship uh, in the Russian Arctic because they were trying to hang a banner. Now, those of you who know me well know that I don't support Greenpeace anymore because um, Greenpeace has followed the path of corporate expediency and uh, militant, zealot um, PCism, and they fire people uh, for things that they think they said or they twist their words because they're just like any other corporation, even though they're fighting for the environment. They'd rather not investigate the truth. They'll just get rid of people um, who speak their mind, even if they're speaking it carefully. But that's getting off topic. Join my page. Like my page. Urgent action. Uh, or go to Amnesty. This is not about me. If I could just press a button and make sure that all of my friends were hooked up to Amnesty International and they were helping make the world a better place, I wouldn't have this page. But I have this page because I think that it's most incumbent upon us now with the internet to look ourselves in the mirror and say, gee, why am I not taking advantage of this tool, the internet, um, to lift a finger and help stop extreme suffering in the world at the hands of torturers, uh, bigoted people, theocratic governments, uh, military governments, and so on, when it takes almost no effort because someone else is doing the work. So please join me and help make the world a better, safer, less painful place. Like my page. It's called Urgent Action, after the Amnesty International Urgent Action Program. Thanks. Peace, love, and joy, and enlightenment, and have a great day.